Welcome back to The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell, and it's deer season in Michigan. Oh boy, have I waited for this day for the last three years. This is the first chance I've had to get out in the woods. Of course, I brought Delenn with me. For those of you that don't know Delenn, this is Delenn. And uh, together, Delenn and I are going to slay some deer. Now, I apologize that I haven't been as productive as I had been. We uh, have a bit of a crisis going on, what's new, right? We, 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 it was good news and bad news, okay? The best news that you could possibly want to hear followed up by the absolute worst. And uh, I broke this news last Friday night on the premiere of my new three-hour show on the Guerrilla Media Network, TTIV Live. And uh, we had a great time. I see a great future for TTIV Live and uh, Pete Santilli's Guerrilla Media Network. He's got some detractors and they're very vocal. Well, I've got news for you. Until Pete does something to me, till I see him do something to somebody else that's you know, beyond proving, then, you know, I got nothing bad to say about the man because everything I've heard tell about him that's negative is just hearsay, blah, 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 blah. Just like this uh, Vinny Eastwood character because, you know, this, uh, this good news and bad news, this is just an excerpt from uh, that three-hour show. I spent the good part of the second hour just totally destroying Vinny Eastwood and, and Susan Posel and and uh, you know you can watch that episode by clicking the link right down here uh, so without further ado let's uh, go back to last Friday night the premiere of TTIV live on the Guerrilla Media Network my Obamacare nightmare You don't talk about it. Parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Keep this frequency clear. And now it's conspiracy. See, they've made that something that that is that is, should not be even entertained for a minute. That powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy bum. You're watching The Truth Is Viral, the only news program on the internet trusted to deliver the truth since 2008, and now. Here's your host, Mr. Bobby Powell. It's 11.18. We've got about, uh... I've never been very good at math. We've got like eight minutes left before we go to the break. So I am going to give you the best news that you're going to hear tonight. The last two CT scans that my wife has had showed that there was no shrinkage of the tumors that had encroached upon her liver and, and colon. <clears throat> Last week, I thought she was going to die. I thought we, we thought that the chemotherapy had stopped working. This past Monday, <clears throat> my wife had a PET scan. Uh, I think that was that positronic electro tomography, something like that. 
And where a CT scan is like an x-ray, okay, it just sees masses and structures. A PET scan can measure the metabolic activity of whatever area it's looking at. Well, we got the results of her PET scan today. Those tumors that had infiltrated my wife's liver have turned to stone. Eighty-five percent of those tumors are now nothing but lumps of calcium in her liver. There's still some metabolic activity going on in, in the cancer that remains. But by and large, it's working. My wife is going to live. I hope. Because after we come back from the break, I'm going to tell you our Obamacare nightmare. Sorry for the discontinuity, but I got to take uh, <laughs> my opportunities to film wherever I can get them. I'm kind of really busy these days. Uh, what you're about to see is our Obamacare nightmare. And it is a real nightmare. And various talk show hosts have been asking for people to share their Obamacare nightmares. Well, I would like for you to help me share our nightmare with these talk show hosts. There are pre-composed tweets in the description below to Greta Van Susteren, uh, Megan Kelly, Greg Gutfeld, uh, the five in general. And uh, we need to get some information or uh, to get some attention paid to this information because without your help, without their help, without somebody coming to our assistance, my wife is going to die. as of November 1st, because I enrolled in Obamacare, or tried to enroll in Obamacare through the website, and I eventually enrolled through a navigator. But because I did that, effective November 1st, she loses her Medicaid. She's fighting stage four colorectal and liver cancer. That's a death sentence. You know, since I started this show, I've done everything the way I've spo I'm supposed to. For 20 years, I've fought to, to overcome my injuries, to learn how to speak and read and write and even walk again. I try to return to the workforce, and I report $200 a month in income, and they take away $600 a month and our Medicaid. Not only is she fighting cancer, I've got my own problems to deal with. I need spine surgery. I've got hepatitis C from a tattoo I got in the Marine Corps. Thank you, Zeke. And a diagnosis from 2008 of multiple sclerosis. Thank God that's been asymptomatic. But it's hanging over my head like a sword of Damocles. We need our medical insurance to stay alive. But because I dared to try to go back to work and do something rather than sit on the couch like a lump. We've been death paneled. You know, that's the one thing Obama has not lied about since he burst on the scene from the depths of hell. 
he's really good at killing people. Don't let him kill my wife. Tweet those tweets. Like the Truth is Viral on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We're going to fight. And I need your help. My wife needs your help. This isn't right. Watch this. You ain't gonna believe it. There's Thomas Dolby. She blinded me with science. I remember playing that back in the day in the club. Uh, welcome back to The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell. You're listening to me on the Gorilla Media Network. And uh, I would like to tell everybody that we have a phone number that you can call if you'd like to call in and, and talk to us. That number is 218-862-9829. So if there are any questions that you questions that you have about the report tonight or any questions that you would like to ask me personally, now is your opportunity to do so. Now, while we are filling up those phone lines, let me tell you about my Obamacare nightmare. Actually, it's the Obamacare nightmare of my wife and I. When I first started bringing in an income, with this show, it was $200 a month. I reported that like any honest person would. I didn't want to get in trouble. You know what they did? Well, let me back up a little bit. At this time, before I started The Truth is Viral, I had Medicare, I had Medicaid. I didn't have any medical bills whatsoever. Neither did my wife. She's been uh, disabled since the birth of our last child with diabetic neuropathy. You know, from the bottom of her feet all the way up to her, her neck and on her torso and her back and down her arms. She says it's feel, it feels like she's being boiled in oil. Okay, so we've both had a, a real fun decade. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't have any worries about medical bills. So I, I reported that $200 a month uh, of income from The Truth is Viral. And what did they do, do you think? They say, good for you, trying to get back to work. We like to see that. Let's encourage that. Not in this world, not on this planet, not in this life. No. They took away $600 in benefits and our Medicaid. Mine and hers. And I was told, all you've got to do is shut up. And you will get your Medicaid back. You'll get your food stamps back. You'll get your cash benefits back. You'll have your Medicare premiums paid for. Well, I'm a stubborn bastard. So uh, I said, thank you, but no thank you. We will find a way to make it somehow. But got to remember now, this is at the same time that my wife was originally diagnosed with cancer. So I did fight to get her Medicaid back. From the time we lost it when we reapplied in December of last year until March of this year, I called our worker no less than six times. Not a single phone call was returned. Not one. I went down there in March, pissed, because none of this happened until my worker took a look at my blog. 
apparently she doesn't like what I have to write <laughs> or produce. So I went down there pretty upset and I demanded to speak with her supervisor. I said, I'm not leaving this lobby until he comes out to speak with me. Well, he never did gin up the courage to come out and talk to me. But wouldn't you know, within one hour, my wife's Medicaid was turned back on. So what does that tell you, folks? It never should have been turned off in the first place. So at that point, having been without insurance for uh, three months, we had a stack of bills, about $60,000 worth. Fortunately, when she got her Medicaid back, they went back three months and paid for most of it. They didn't pay for all of it because some of it fell without or within that or outside of that time frame that they would pay for. They should have paid for all of it, but they didn't. Well, when Obamacare rolled out, you know, I wanted some insurance for me. Because as hard as I fought to regain my health, I still have two very serious disease processes going on. And they are going to kill me. The first is hepatitis C. I contracted that from a, a, a tattoo that I got at Zeke's Tattoo Parlor. Thank you, Zeke, you asshole. In Jacksonville, North Carolina, right after I graduated from advanced infantry training. Over the past, over the course of the last 35 years, I've been treated for that twice. Both times my viral load went down to zero. I thought I was going to be great. Well, last year when I was in the hospital, they tested my blood and my viral load is now the highest it has ever been. So I'm looking forward to liver failure at any particular time. And in 2008, while well, they were doing an MRI, a full body scan, they were looking at my brain. And the report says, let's see if I remember this from memory. Two to three millimeter foci with, with increased flare signal scattered throughout the, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, I've got multiple sclerosis. Now, thank God it's been largely asymptomatic up until now. But, you know, without medical coverage, I'm going to die. And so is my wife. Because her Medicaid was refused too. During the uh, reporting period, you know, they ask for uh, receipts and you know, if you, if you own a small business, they want your receipts to and, and your income and all that stuff. Well, after expenses, I only made $300 from the Truth is Viral last month. Still $300 short of the $600 that they took away when I was doing nothing. but they cut off our Medicaid. Again. So I called my worker again, and this time she actually answered the phone. I was understandably upset. Without Medicaid, my wife's gonna die. Well, she hung up on me. I called back and I asked to speak with her supervisor. I told her supervisor everything that has been going on over the past year. I reminded the supervisor that the last time that my wife had been kicked off of Medicaid, all he had to do 
was flip some kind of a switch and turn it back on. That was last week. Yeah, it was Friday of last week. I was expecting to, to hear something from him this week. Not a word. So, I have no idea where we are with that. Other than uh, the first one of the first victims of Obama's death panels. Apparently my wife is a useless eater. As am I. They don't want us to contribute to society. They don't want me to pay taxes. They want me to sit down and shut up. And they're using my wife's medical care to hold over my head to try and ensure that. I've got news for anybody that thinks that they are going to shut me up. I've got plans. All perfectly legal. But when I get done doing what I plan to do, these people at the local social services office will not be able to walk in this town without hanging their heads in shame. And this is a small town. You can't swing a cat without hitting a relative, a friend, a friend of a relative, or a relative of a friend. And when your friends and family find out what you have done to my wife, just because you don't like what I write about your president, I wouldn't want to be you. Now, a year ago, my wife's oncologist wanted to send her home to die. Didn't even want to start chemotherapy. She said this type of cancer is not treatable. Well, I'm not going to lie. This is an advanced cancer. Um, it's involving a heck, of a, a heck of a lot of that liver. Um, and I will say that it tends not to be something that, that is readily curable. My wife said the hell with that. I want to live. And over the course of this past year, tens of thousands of people have been praying for us. We've been put on prayer lists at, on, in countries, in countries, or in churches in countries on the other side of the planet. Just a few weeks ago, I was broadcasting the show from the hospital because my wife had been taken in uh, on an emergency basis because her arm started swelling up from a, uh, a blood clot. Damn near killed her. But we were laying, or she was laying in the hospital bed and I, I brought in my laptop and I was showing her all of the prayers that had been left for her on this one post on my, on my Facebook wall. Hundreds of prayers asking for Father to, to save her. And the camera was rolling when the swelling in her arm went down by at least 50%. Within a minute, you can see it. All these people praying for us, we're going to get our miracle.
You know, to show you, there are a lot of good people left. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything. That's oh man, no words can even explain. Does it look like it's going down? <laughs> Actually, no, it kind of does. It does. Visibly. It kind of does. Don't tell me that's not some kind of a miracle. So, yeah, we've got Almighty God on our side. And you're aligned with the freaking Antichrist. Who do you think's going to win? Now, we may die. But we're still going to win. Because we're going to have new bodies. And we're going to be running and jumping and rolling around and making love in these grassy fields in heaven. I, 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 so, I can't even imagine how glorious heaven's going to be. I'm pretty sure, though, it doesn't have anything to do with sitting around on clouds strumming harps. I've, I've got some educated guesses on what heaven might be like. I'll, uh, save that for another show but uh, you know the, the point is that I'm not afraid I don't want my wife to die I don't want to die myself but I'm not going to compromise my value I'm not going to sit down and shut up just so I can get a couple of bucks and some medicine for either me or for her. If I did, what kind of a person would that make me? And she doesn't want me to either. So, you know, she stands behind me. She says, don't you dare stop this. You're doing a great thing. My mother, oh my God, my mother, for the first time in 50 years, uh, a couple of months ago, she said she was proud of me. She's never said that before. Even when I came home in my dress blues for the very first time, a brand new, newly minted 16-year-old killing machine. She never said she was proud of me. She's proud of me now. I'm not going to throw that away. So yeah, the camouflage backdrop was hideously ugly. And... <laughs> Since it's getting so cold outside, I'm not going to go back out into the garage like I did last year and, and spend $50 a month on, on kerosene heating that bad boy. So, uh, welcome to the new Truth is Viral Live set, my uh, living room. <laughs> it should work out pretty good, though. Uh, we'll uh, use this uh, television to introduce video clips and keep you up with the latest news from around the world. In order to watch this, though, live, you need to go to uh, youtube.com slash user slash the truth is viral and uh, subscribe to the secondary channel over there. And make sure that you uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, 
join the free forum at ttiv.forummotion.com and subscribe to the blog at bobpowell.blogspot.com. Now, if you have the financial ability, please leave a donation and help us in this fight to save lives, including our own, and, and win souls for Jesus Christ. And uh, don't forget to share the show everywhere you go. Hit the uh, share bar down below. You can share it to 10 different social media platforms. Uh, MySpace, uh, Reddit, Orkut, Facebook, Twitter, the, the list goes on and on. And, and put, put, them, put the shows in your emails too. Okay? Send up smoke signals. Especially this one. Make sure that you tweet the tweets below if you've got a Twitter account. Let's get some attention paid to this because this Obamacare is, if it's doing this to us, you know, it's doing it to a lot more people. I just happen to have a voice and people can listen to me. It's not that big of a voice. That's why I need the help of the networks. But I am fortunate that I have somewhat of, of a voice where you know people can listen and 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 maybe help us out a little bit so thank god for that and thank god for you for each and every one of you for maureen especially she did us a really good solid favor and i can't even begin to express our thanks she had an email <laughs> I would have uh, responded by now, but all she left me was a snail mail address. So Maureen, please expect a, a special gift, uh, just a little thank you card from Delane and I. You're amazing. That letter was just awesome. So thank you everybody for watching The Truth is Viral. Thank you for keeping us in your prayers. Thank you for your love and your support. My name is Bob Powell, and as always, God bless, Semper Fi, and hoorah. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow The Apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth is Viral. Like The Truth is Viral on Facebook, and if you can, please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www bobpowell.blogspot.com Smack Runner Your game is through Smack Runner I'm talking to you